So on Thursday morning, yesterday, President Biden signed legislation that enshrined Juneteenth, the day that the last slaves in America were freed, as a national holiday. It marks a different National Independence Day, one that reminds us that this country cannot be free until all its people are free. June 19, 1865 marked an important day on that step to true liberation and freedom for all Americans. But I think we all know that we're not fully there yet, not until we root out the discrimination and bigotry and inequities that still exist for far too many. But this day is still very much worth celebrating. I know it's tomorrow, but Shabbat, we begin the day at nighttime, so we're, we're starting. A milestone on that journey to redemption. And just as we sing a redemption song in every service, the Micha Mocha, using words that we uttered when we passed through the Red Sea to freedom, we pray for a redemption that is still not complete. Yesterday, after this bill was signed, Representative Butterfield of North Carolina led the lawmakers in singing Lift Every Voice and Sing, which is often referred to as the Black National Anthem. As a child, I was bused to a majority black elementary school, McCarver Elementary, the first magnet school for voluntary desegregation in the country. And every assembly we had began with the singing of the national anthem and lift every voice and sing. I grew up thinking we had two national anthems. And there is now a movement to make this song designated as America's national hymn. I think it truly embodies the hope of redemption for all Americans. We turn to 152, but we'll begin with these words from that hymn. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmony Of liberty Let our rejoice Full of the hope that the present has brought. 